Hello people, it's not magic, it's science. I am Royal and this is Ryan Sissin Kiwi. Today, we are going to show you how to move iron files. Now, iron filings with a magnet. Iron filings with a magnet. Now, the blue is the, now, the blue is the south pole, while see this, and while the, where the red is the north pole. Now, at the both of the ends, it makes the iron, the iron filings move. But at the middle, it doesn't make it move at all. For example, like this. To the other side. So like this. Like that. I like this and move it slowly. See how it's moving stuff at the end. It's dragging it along at the ends, but in the middle, it's not dragging it. That's because why, Royal? Because in the middle, it's the weakest part of the magnet. And at the ends, it's the... At the end, it's not the weakest. Or it would be the... Strongest. There you go. And then these are iron filings. This is like, imagine a piece of metal that's been chopped up into really small pieces, almost kind of like coffee grounds. And as you move this around, you can make the iron filings move and dance. Move it down here and see how they stand up. Yep. And then you can pull them away and... Hey, I still see some. Look right there. Look at the ends. See how the ends are... Moving it? Stands up at the ends. But as you get to the middle, it loses its attraction until it gets closer to the ends. And that's what it does. Royal and Carrie are going to go ahead and play around with them a little bit. And, but this is something you could do with foam. If you know someone who works at a steel mill or works with metal at a metal shop, they can get you some of these. But it's just a neat way to look at the magnetic field. The magnetic field is where the little pieces of iron sort of stand up, almost like hairs on your arm. And if we leave, and if we leave this on a piece of paper, white piece of paper, it's kind of easier to see. Yes. See how, they're, see how they're standing up? I'll, I'll hold it slow so that we can zoom in on it. So that's the magnetic field. And if you look in the very center of the magnet, well, I'll point to the center of the magnet, where the red and the... Right there where Royal's finger was at, that's the center of the magnet. Notice that this end down here, right here, see how it's standing up? Yes, and this one. And, and the, the other one. end, but in the middle, it's not. That shows you the, the electromagnetic field. You can see it. And then as you move it away, you can kind of see how it changes. And then you give it a little yeah. shake, and it's back to normal. Not standing up on hairs, like hairs on your arm, but if you put it right over it, you can kind of see how it stands up. Yes. Well, what else? What is, what is, um, how are magnets and electricity related? How is our magnets and static electricity related? You did a video on static electricity oh. a week ago. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Okay. It's still almost like the same thing, except it's not moving up. It's moving down in the direction I'm moving the magnet. Okay, but how are, how are, how are in static electricity, we don't have north and south poles. We have charges. What kind of charges do we have? Instead? Positive and negative. Positive and negative. Magnets are similar, but instead of having charges, you have poles, right? Poles. And what kind of poles do we have on magnets? Red and north and south. Okay. All right. And thank you, Kelly. What was that? Now, back to normal. All right. Well. Well, that's it for now. It's 
Well, that's it for now. It's not magic, it's science. Let's play it.